Broadband converged IP telecommunications is based on the first chapter of Terracom's famous boot camp, starting a full week of training with a comprehensive introduction to all of the different aspects of the modern converged IP telecom network. This course is a first pass through the topics, explaining fundamental ideas, identifying the equipment, technologies, and operation of the network, the jargon, the services that are sold, the players, where the money is, and how it all fits together without bogging down in details. In subsequent courses, we'll take another pass and drill deeper into key areas like mobile wireless, Ethernet, IP, and MPLS. There are so many aspects to telecommunications, no one is expecting anyone to be an instant expert in all of this. Some of the concepts like IP packets being carried in Mac frames might take a year of thinking about to fully comprehend until one day you wake up in the middle of the night and shout, of course it works that way, how else could it work? And it seems painfully obvious thereafter. The purpose of this course is to get you started on that road. It's a high-level, wide-ranging introduction to the world of modern, broadband, converged IP telecommunications. Lesson 1 is the introduction to the course. That would be this one. Lesson 2 is the holy grail of service integration. Voice, video, and data together in channels or packets. Lesson 2 begins the course proper, defining convergence or service integration, where all services, voice, video, and data, are carried together on the same access circuits and the same network. We'll see that there are two possibilities for convergence, either carry everything in channels like voice, or carry everything in packets like data. And after previous failed attempts, including ISDN, which was channels, and ATM, which was packet-like, the third time is the charm with everything in IP packets, plus a packet traffic management technology called MPLS. Lesson 3 defines the term broadband. We'll understand what bandwidth is in both the analog and digital worlds, or more precisely, what bandwidth is in the frequency channel and digital worlds. We'll discuss how much broad it might be from a regulatory perspective and from a user requirements perspective. And we'll finish off discussing how broadband access to the internet will become a right just as electricity and telephone before it. Lesson 4 introduces a graphical model identifying all of the different aspects of broadband converged IP telecommunications, which are covered in detail in subsequent lessons and courses. We'll understand the parts of the physical network, core, edge, and access and enumerate services grouped by residential, business, and wholesale, and see how data centers fit into the picture. Lesson 5 is a closer look at the heart of the model, the network core. The network core, sometimes colloquially referred to as the backbone, implements high-capacity, high-availability communications using optical Ethernet point-to-point -point links between major switching or aggregation points on a carrier's network. We'll see all of the different buildings these could be, different players like cable TV companies and wireless companies and ILEX, how high availability requires redundant connections, how ring patterns are the cheapest way to implement it, and the technologies used for cut-line protection switching. 
Lesson six introduces fundamental networking concepts. Viewing networks as point-to-point -point links terminated on routers in different locations. We'll examine the most popular technology for links, optical ethernet, which moves bits grouped into MAC frames point-to-point -point over fiber. You'll learn how IP packets are carried in MAC frames to a router, which uses the destination IP address on the packet to make a route decision, then forwards the IP packet in a MAC frame to the next router in the chain. We'll see how MPLS is used instead of IP in the core of big networks, allowing control of the routing of flows of packets from a network operation center. Lesson 7 is dedicated to network access technologies called the last mile. Although, of course, the people who work in this part of the business prefer to call it the first mile. It's the physical connection between the user and the network. This is the face of the telecom network to users. To get started, we group access technologies by physical medium, copper, fiber, and wireless. Copper includes twisted pair loops, LAN cables, and old-fashioned T1s, as well as coaxial cable community antenna television infrastructure, also known as cable TV. Fiber means optical ethernet on shared links for residences via passive optical networks and dedicated links for businesses. Wireless includes 4G LTE and 5G used for both fixed and mobile applications and satellites. In Lesson 8, we'll define a service provided by a telecommunications service provider as being made of three components. Access circuit, network connection type, and billing agreement. First, we'll understand why people draw networks as clouds in high-level diagrams to establish the idea of a service versus a circuit. Then we'll explore how access circuits, network connections, and billing agreements combine to make a service. Lesson 9 is a relatively long lesson, an introduction to the most popular services sold by service providers, organized into residential, business, and wholesale. We'll cover broadband residential internet, and telephone service, television, and video on demand, which can be delivered as internet traffic or delivered direct by your ISP. We'll cover the term VPN, which actually can mean at least four, if not five different things in this business. We'll introduce business services, including MPLS VPNs, software-defined wide area networks, Centrex and SIP trunking to replace PBX trunks, and wholesale services, dark fiber, wavelengths on a fiber, services that move MAC frames called virtual private LAN service or carrier ethernet, IP packet communication services, including internet transit and peering. Lesson 10 is also a longer lesson surveying the main types of network equipment in use today, beginning with layer two switches and routers, which are the building blocks of the broadband converged IP network. Then we'll cover frequency division multiplexers, which are used in radio and on coaxial cable, and on fiber systems where they're called wave division multiplexers plus fiber cross connects and wavelength add drop multiplexers. You'll learn the basics of time division multiplexers and DS0 channels, and gateways that convert media between IP packets and DS0 channels, and signaling between SIP and ISDN messages. Lesson 11, the final lesson in this course, covers the two and a half ways that carriers connect to allow communications. 
First, we'll go over telephone calls to and from public switch telephone network telephone numbers, connecting local exchange carriers and inter-exchange carriers with tandem access trunks at toll center buildings, which is highly regulated and specified in minute detail in tariffs. Second, we'll cover ISPs, Internet Service Providers, exchanging IP packets at Internet Exchange Buildings, which is barely regulated, if at all. The half out of the two and a half methods is connections for MPLS VPNs across different carriers when they're partnering to provide global communications for a customer. After taking this course, you'll be able to define convergence and two ways that it might be achieved. Define bandwidth, explain what broadband means and how much broad might be. Identify all of the main aspects of the modern broadband converged IP network, including the parts of the physical network, the three types of services, the equipment, and the players. Describe the network core, its purpose, performance requirements, and how they're implemented. Identify the three primary network protocols, Ethernet, IP, and MPLS, and what each does. Explain how MAC frames and IP packets go together at a high level. Identify the essential purpose of an IP address. Explain the essential advantage of MPLS over IP for routing. Define the three main technology areas for network access. List the most popular technologies in each. Describe the three components of a network service. Define the three main groupings of telecom services based on customer type. Describe at least four different meanings for the term VPN, and you get bonus points for describing the fifth. Differentiate between streaming video versus video from your ISP and the essential difference between them. Explain in general what an MPLS VPN is and who uses it. Identify the key difference between MPLS VPN services and SD-WAN services. Explain what SIP trunking is and what legacy service it replaces. List at least four types of wholesale telecommunication services. Explain what a data center is. Explain the essential function of a router. Describe what a Layer 2 switch is used for and how Layer 2 switches relate to routers. Define multiplexing. Identify three technologies that use frequency division multiplexing. Identify the name for frequency division multiplexing in the fiber optic world. Differentiate between frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing. Describe what a gateway is and the two functions it performs. And identify the two main ways that carriers connect and where this happens. That's quite an impressive list of knowledge. The purpose of this course is to take a first pass through all of this stuff. In subsequent courses, we take a second and sometimes third pass through some of these topics and drill into the technologies to better understand the fundamental ideas of how they work and all of the variations. In this course, we're just getting started identifying and understanding all of the aspects of modern broadband converged IP telecommunications. Here we'll go over some instructions for using the MyTerracom Learning Management System.
On a tablet or phone, the best experience may be achieved by going full screen. Click the full screen icon under Settings in Chrome. The course is composed of a number of lessons, which are loaded onto your computer one at a time by clicking the corresponding link on the menu of available lessons for the course on your MyTerracom Learning Management System dashboard. Each lesson begins with an overview and discussion of the lesson objectives. Then the lesson is presented in several parts, followed by several quiz questions to help ensure you understood key points. The skip forward and back buttons at the bottom of the screen may be used to navigate back and forth between parts of this lesson, and the slider also works. Play, pause, and mute buttons are also located at the bottom of the screen. You can go back through a lesson as many times as you like. You can close your browser, then log back in the next day or the next month, and you'll restart the same lesson until you click the Finish Lesson button to move to the next lesson. When you're finished the lesson, click the Finish Lesson button to go to the next lesson. After clicking Finish Lesson, please wait to see a screen with a large green check mark. This is confirmation back from the Learning Management System that your progress has been recorded. If it's been more than 30 minutes since you started the lesson, your session on the server may have timed out and you may see an error message. In that case, just log back in to continue. You can take any lesson anytime by setting the last lesson completed value on the lessons page to the appropriate value. Let's get started.